Hello everyone and welcome to another video on our channel Learn at Nostar. In today's video, we are going to see how we can schedule a SQL command to run at a fixed date and time or in a recurring schedule. Now this has been requested by many of you and I thought that it was a good topic and that's why we are going to do a quick video today. It can be done through the SQL Server agent. This is specific to Microsoft SQL Server. If you have downloaded the SQL Server Express version, then the SQL Server agent is not available in the Express version because there are some limitations to the Express SQL Express version. So we need to have the full-fledged version of SQL Server to be able to see the SQL Server agent. Also, if you have worked on SQL Server integration services, then you must already be knowing how to schedule those packages. And it is similar to how we schedule the SQL Server jobs. So I'm going to be working with a logs table. I have created a table called logs and I have created an entry for each month in this log. So I've created around nine entries till September. So you will see that there's an entry for the first day of each month. I'm going to write a simple query in which I'm going to delete the log entries which are older than six months. So let's see how I can automate that deletion through the SQL Server agent. Now what we need to do is go to the Object Explorer and if you see in the object explorer you'll see that there's something called the sql server agent again as i mentioned earlier if you have the sql express version you will not be able to see it over here so once you see the sql server agent just go and expand this and you'll see something called jobs just go and expand on jobs or just right click on jobs and you'll see that there's an option to create a new job so just click on that and give the name so let's say demo job you can provide a description of the job um, then we are at present we are currently at the general tab move on to the steps tab and go down to the bottom click on new again give a name to the step then if you go to the second option, you will have the type. So there will be various types. You'll have T-SQL as one of the types. As you can see, you also have the SQL Server integration services package and so on. So because we want to run a SQL command, we have to select the T-SQL. Uh, which database you need to run it on? So we need to run it on demo. That is a database name. So you have to provide your database name and then which command you want to run. So the command I want to run is simply going to be delete from logs. Where so I have to delete all the logs which are older than six months. So, so I'm going to compare the date field, which is a log date field in my table. So log date, sorry, log date is greater than and to go to the date for the last six months we can use the date add function so date add simply adds that particular value to your month so if you want to get the next month's date based on your current date or based on a particular date then it will just go and add one month to that date uh, so similarly to go in the reverse direction you need to add the number in a negative fashion so you want to go back by one month from today's date so just add minus one and specify that you're adding a month to the current date so we'll see how it works so date add and what i'm going to add is month and since we want to go back by six months i'm going to say minus six and i'm going to add it to the current date so get date so this is the sql command that i'm going to run whatever command you want to run you can specify it over here uh, once this is done, let's just say OK. So you can see that there are advanced options as well. So you can, if you have multiple steps, you can uh, define the dependency as well. So if the first step fails, do you want to go to the next step or not? And which order you want to follow? How many retry attempts are there? What happens if the job fails? So there are different options. Go to the next step, quit the job reporting failure or quit the job reporting success. Um, so there are other options that you can define in the advanced tab as well but the main command has to be defined here in the general tab under the steps and my mistake this should be 
less than uh, because we have to delete all the logs which are older than six months so the log date should be uh, less than the date that we're deriving here which is a six month old date let's just say okay if you want to add more steps then you can add, click on new again and add another step as well and then you can define the ordering as well so once you have defined your steps the only thing that you need to do to schedule the, uh, this particular command is go to the schedule tab once you go to the schedule tab you can say new schedule and then you can give um, some name to the schedule you can define whether it is recurring if it is recurring you can define frequency whether it has to be run daily weekly monthly if it has to be run weekly um, does it run every one week or does it run every two weeks on which day of the week does it run so all this can be defined at what time does it run or occurs every one hour so all those things can be defined as in a scheduler that you define for us let's just define it for one time for now so the time now here is 31st august 11 41 pm so i am going to define it for let's say 11 42 pm and then we'll go back to the table and see whether the script the command has worked correctly so i'm just going to say okay um, as you can see there are some other options as well you can define some alerts you can define your notifications so when the job completes what email uh, you need to send it to which address email address when the job fails and all those things can be defined as well so let's just say okay for now for a schedule and let's wait till 11:42. To see whether this happens so again we have these nine entries in the logs table so now if we go back and just check in the table we should be able to get only these seven rows so you can see that uh, data is since march your data has been retained whatever data we had before march the data has been purged this is because the current date here is still 31st of august so it took uh took the end date the last day of february and deleted all the data which was before the end date of february so this is how simply you can just go and schedule a job or schedule a sql command in your sql server agent now if you go to your sql server agent you will see that there is I, I'm not sure if everybody has this, but my SQL Server agent has this sys policy underscore purge history. So if you want to explore more options, you can just have a look at this. Just, uh, just double click on this. And if you go especially to the steps, you will see that this has three steps and there's a dependency that has been defined. So on success, go to the, if you click on this, it will be like, they have given some kind of script over here and they have just defined go to the next step on success section go to the next step we try attempts are zero and so on so if you want to see some more properties you can just go and check this one out as well so this is simply how this can be done this was a quick video i hope that you found this useful if you did then please do not forget to subscribe to your youtube channel and also please like comment and share the video thanks a lot for watching bye